This is Witchbase News for Friday the 25th of June 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... Salvation and Aegis compete for your Guardian artefacts ...there's a new Lavecon themed buckyball race ...we've a great new resource for on foot stealth gameplay ...there's a new resource from the Anti Xeno initiative and we've a summary of this weeks Super Cruise news stream and some thoughts on what is a critical week ahead for Frontier. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. This Thursday saw the start of a new community goal in the game which sees the largely derided and mostly ineffectual Aegis anti thargoid organisation competing for your attention and indeed your guardian artefacts against the entity that would be king known only as Salvation. Should Salvation win the community goal then there's an over engineered shard cannon up for grabs for eligible participants ...should Aegis win the CG then there's a 4 week discount on material prices at Guardian Tech Brokers. Whilst Aegis are a mostly hilariously incompetent spectator to the struggle against the Thargoid menace they are a known quantity. Conversely nothing whatsoever is known about the entity or individual referring to themselves ...not even slightly modestly as salvation. Right now whoever or whatever Salvation is has been full of big claims and saviour like promises. If Salvation wins they'll be in possession of a shed ton of Guardian research materials which will then leave us with two interesting scenarios. Number 1 ...they'll need to start delivering on the promise of deliverance and number 2 ...they'll become Thargoid public enemy number 1. The last time Aegis collected Guardian research materials their megaship was pursued by a Thargoid armada and disappeared in hyperspace. Whoever or whatever Salvation is will suddenly become the biggest target on the mean greenies chessboard. Rather you than me mate. The annual IRL meeting of commanders in Northamptonshire in the UK Lavecon has once again had to be taken online instead due to the ongoing pandemic conditions. Undeterred however as part of the weekends virtual festivities Alec Turner Buckyball Racing's resident SRV witch has put together a new Lavecon themed Buckyball challenge called the Lavecon Lockdown Challenge. The timed race event can be attempted any time that suits you during the week of the 3rd to the 11th of July and it doesn't mind if you're in Odyssey, Horizons, Console or PC. And if you're attempting the combined SRV ship and fighter challenge in Horizons then Napier installation in ROS671 will be your personal racetrack. If you're in Odyssey then it's the Reenhaven on Kramavi A3. <laughs> And if the name Reenhaven seems familiar that's because it is indeed named after our very own Commander Reenie who films all of our footage at the Burr Pit including the very images on your screen right now. There's a link in the description to a video from Alec Turner describing exactly how to complete the timed challenge and a forum thread from Alec with more details will be going up this weekend so watch out for that. Good luck and try not to dent the starport too much on your way round. Thanks. One of Odyssey's bigger on foot features are the settlement and installation missions and raids some of which are very easy and some of which can be incredibly hard. The particularly tough missions revolve around the games on foot stealth mechanics which despite being a big part of Odyssey's gameplay have remained largely unhighlighted since the expansions launch just over a month ago. If you've been struggling with those stealth mechanics or perhaps weren't aware that they even existed then the YouTube channel Stealth Boy by Commander Yadis is the resource for you. Yadis is an unashamed superfan of all things stealthy in Odyssey and his newly formed channel is rapidly becoming the flintlock engineering of stealth gameplay mechanics. At the time of recording the channel has definitive guides to stealth, infiltration and mastering heist missions to unlock the engineer Terra Veliquez. 
The guides all feature extremely well presented, concise, clear and easy to follow instructions on what you're doing and why you're doing it. They're invaluable guides for completing these sometimes challenging missions and if you're struggling with the first person shooter aspect of Odyssey these guides will tell you how to achieve what you need to in Odyssey whilst also avoiding gunplay entirely. I've linked to the first of his definitive guides to stealth below so that you can get a feel. Go check Commander your dis and the Stealth Boy channel a sub and check out the rest of the guides they're brilliant and absolutely essential. The Anti Xeno initiative have been celebrating a staggering 10,000 members on their discord this week with some special week long events and they're now also presenting their combined knowledge from years of hunting caustic alien peril pansies into a more easy to access, search and digest online wiki on all things Anti Xeno. If you've ever wanted to get involved in the alien removal and extermination business there is no finer resource in the community. They take this stuff really seriously and, having seen them in action at close hand I can confirm they're really really good at it. Check out the wiki which I've linked below and be sure to add it to your elite bookmarks. Frontiers Super Cruise News livestream last Tuesday dropped some useful nuggets as part of their currently weekly roundup. It appears Super Cruise News itself will likely be changing format slightly going forward with news on the game itself becoming a bi-weekly affair to make those weeks more information dense. The off weeks will instead be more light hearted and likely more gameplay driven. The team again confirmed that the next significant patch for Odyssey is now scheduled to arrive on Thursday the 1st of July and alongside improvements and bug fixes is expected that the patch will also include significant improvements to the games ship outfitting UI. Here at the pit we're really hoping the accidentally sell your highly engineered modules feature is no longer part of that particular UI. Missions that can be shared between teammates in Odyssey are also promised in the patch and the smear campaign plans material needed to unlock one of the new engineers will have a much higher chance of dropping following the patch. Currently the plans do drop in the game but they are rarer than unicorn scratchings. Frontier did confirm that that particular feature was, thankfully, not working as intended. Head of online Dav Stott made a surprise appearance on the stream to answer some questions from the community. He confirmed that the faction state tick does currently take slightly longer to make it into the game but they are exploring ways to speed up the changes in factions making it into the game. He further confirmed that methods to help anarchy factions get out of a lockdown state is being looked at by the design team. Next week We'll see the first of the promised monthly development livestreams which Frontier are introducing as part of their promise of more open and meaningful communication. As part of that stream it's widely expected that the company will be presenting some information on what to expect from Odyssey in the future and how the expansion itself is likely to expand. It goes without saying that whilst it's not been the case for everyone the start of the Odyssey experience has not been exactly stellar for a lot of people. Plagued with crashes, frame rate issues, challenging UI design and some much requested features simply missing or no longer on the table Frontier have spent the 5 weeks since the much anticipated expansion launched somewhat on the back foot wrestling all of this during what should have been one of the biggest highlights in the games life. The team have recently said that more is coming to Odyssey and that we haven't seen everything yet and Thursdays livestream is the first time they've lined up an opportunity to talk to the community about that future. Whilst they undoubtedly don't want to tell us everything all in one go it's clear there is a significant void where some broad strokes are now most definitely needed. As I've said on this very broadcast before every feature we believe that's likely somewhere in the future of Elite Dangerous is currently based off of leaks from the company and what's been gathered from data mining the game files not from direct communication from Frontier. Thursday is the first real acid test of the promise of more open communication and direction from the Cambridge developer and possibly the most important livestream Odyssey has ever had. Don't miss Thursdays livestream. We look forward to hearing what Frontier have in store. 
So what do you want to hear from Frontier on Thursday? Will you be checking out Stealth Boy or perhaps Bucky balling round the Reen Haven? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.